What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now on today's video, we're going to be installing a custom switch into Walk and Tall. Now we've done a couple different custom switch videos on the channel already. We've done the keyless key switch, which was a wireless key switch with a remote transmitter. We've done a keyless entry key switch, which was a pin number key fob. We took an RXV style key switch and installed it in a non RXV golf cart. But today I'm gonna show you one of my other tricks that I like to do. And it's really not for security, but when your golf cart is custom, why leave your switch alone? It's like the most overlooked part on your golf cart. And you touch it every time you get on. So in today's video, we're gonna be installing an ATV style key switch into walk and talk. Now on this key switch here, I've done a couple of these in the past here. Very simple and really very cheap. I think I picked this one up for about 12 to 20 bucks, if that. I'll place a link in the description below to show you exactly you know, how much I paid for this. Just go down there, click it, you'll see exactly. I'm gonna show you guys how I wired it and everything in today's video. Now, one of the things I like about this key switch is this. I like the appearance of the key switch. Now it says ignition on the front, it says off at the very top, and it has a red dot over to the top right. That's gonna be for the own position, okay? So it looks a lot different than your standard golf cart key switch. This right here is the key that it goes into it. So it's the ATV style with the plastic ATV cover that surrounds it. I like that. You know, it doesn't look like your boring stock you know, easy go Yamaha club car key. So it's got a cool looking key to it. Now I think what I like most about this key switch is this right here. I love the sound that it makes when you turn it on. It lets you know it's on. And when it's in the on position, the key won't come out. Switch it back to the left or the off position. It got that distinctive click. I like that the most. Now on these key switches, you have a wiring harness on the very back of it here. And generally I just snip these wiring harnesses directly off and I'm only gonna use two out of the four wires. I'm gonna show you how to find the wires you need for your golf cart right now. So this one right here is a Honda. I've used some others in the day, but generally the Hondas are my go-to, my favorite ones to use. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is we're just gonna snip this green plug right here off you really don't have to because we're on this case, we're not going to use the green plug. But if you're unsure, go ahead and snip that off as well. So I'm using a Craftsman multimeter. I've had this 15, 20 years now. I got it on a Black Friday deal. I was there like six o'clock in the morning. And I paid like 10 bucks for it, right? It's been a great meter. So you don't have to go out and spend hundreds of dollars on a meter. I get by with this one right here just fine. Now to test the switch here, we're gonna turn it over to the um, continuity setting. And that's, what, that's the continuity setting right there, if you can see it. Okay, now once you touch the two leads together, you have an audible tone, like so. Now we're gonna use the audible tone to tell us which wires on the switch here has continuity when the switch is in the on position but none when the switch is in the off position. Okay, so you can take this right here. You can run through each one of the wires. Make sure there's, so right now, look at here. Right now, right now green and black with the white have continuity on it. Let's check some of these other ones real quick. None, none. Let's check the black one to all of the rest of them. None, none, none. Let's check the green one to all of them. None, none. And you got, remember green with the black and white stripe? They have continuity now. None, none and continuity. Okay, so we know that the green and the black with the white stripe, they have continuity 
with this switch in the off position. So basically I just went ahead and separated these two wires here. Next we can go ahead and put the key into the ignition and we're gonna turn it on like so. Let's check the green and the black with the white stripe now. Now they don't have continuity, so that's a good good thing to know that, hey, with the switch off, they have continuity, but with the switch on, they don't have continuity, okay? I like that. So basically, this right here is two switches in one. If you can figure something out on what you could use this right here for in that setting. Now with the switch on, red and black has continuity. So this right here, red and black wire, or is gonna be the wires that we're gonna to use to turn the golf cart on and off with. Now this is your standard club car switch here. Uh, just one of the old ones I've had laying around here. And you've had this, this nut right here that screws on to hold it in place. On the back, it's got some uh, small flip head screws where you put some ring trimmers on there to attach your inputs and outputs for your golf cart, okay? That's that way of mounting. See, it mounts with that screw there or that, that nut there. Okay. And you notice this one here doesn't have a screw or a nut to mount it to the golf cart with, right? But it does have these two little wings right here on the side. See, basically you would drill a hole and you'll stick it through the hole and it snaps into place behind those. So this is the piece of plastic that I use to test fit my holes and see which hole works the best. On this bit right here, I marked which setting I like the best. And I really like these right here bits because they work great in drilling different size holes with you know one bit. Now I have an old club card DS dash and well, I wanna test fit it in this right here dash real quick. This is just a throwaway panel here but I figured we can go ahead and show you guys how you can make it work in one of these as well. Now, when you're drilling a hole in your dash, let's say it's a factory dash, something like this, this is a lot thicker than those aftermarket stereo dashes. So be very weary on how you drill, okay? You have two different settings. Two is fast and one is slow. This is number two. This is one. I like to drill very slow, especially on the thin dashes, like on this stuff right here. Okay, it's very thin. On this right here, you could probably get away with a little bit faster, but you know, just take your time because you really don't want to mess this up. I'm gonna go ahead and drill this one hole out here for that one size now. Okay, we're gonna slide our wires through here. And I'm gonna put my off at the very top and my little red dot at the front right, kind of like on an ATV. Is a tight fit. That's what we want. That's what it looks like in that dash there. Good look. I like that look, to be honest with you. I mean, generally on my key switches, I like to put like a floating. Um, bobber on there just in case let's say you go to the water park uh, you go to the beach you know you go to the river the lake whatever and let's just say for some odd reason it finds its way in the water to take a swim well generally you can swim on top of the water and not straight to the bottom so uh, that's how we install it like on a regular style dash so these two wires the green with the black and white they have continuity when the key switch is in the off position but when the key switch is in the on position, they lose the continuity, right? So here's an idea for you. You could take one of the legs, here to your 12 volt system, 
get you one of those very small blinking LEDs that run off of 12 volts, hook it to the other side, hook the other side of the LED back to the ground of the battery, and give the imitation that maybe your golf cart has a, an alarm system on it. And some people say, oh, but they don't make alarm systems for golf carts. That's silly. That's ridiculous. Well, uh, they actually do. This is a Viper. This is a 3121V. This is a motorsports uh, alarm system here. We might be installing it on the channel. I, I purchased this for this build last year when it was going to be a different build. I never got around to installing it. I don't think I'm going to be able to install it in the near future, but maybe in the next week or two, we might be able to put this on walking tall. We'll see. So I do want to put an alarm system on the golf cart, but uh, this is a one-way system. It's waterproof and it has an alarm on it. You know, it's not going to lock and unlock doors and stuff like that, but it might keep your bike a lot safer. So I haven't showed you guys yet, but this is my dash for walking tall. I'm going to run a wood grain dash on it, just something totally different. Normally I wouldn't run wood grain, but I have some other things to hopefully match this right here kind of well onto the golf cart and well i think the key switch would look great in the factory key switch location in fact i love that this switch right here takes up majority of the room in there on this right here dash so i'm gonna clean my bit here because i just i want to be able to see my line here okay that silver line is where we need to stop at we don't want to go past that okay and we already have a hole here. You remember I said this right here was my test piece. You see it's very thin. These dashes, they're very thin as well, okay? So we're gonna go for it here and we're gonna mount the ATV key switch in the dash here. One thing we might do, let's do a couple of test fits on here. This is the one time you want to take your time with everything and you don't want to rush anything. I don't think we're there yet because it's hard to see where we're at, but yep, we're good. We definitely don't want to put this in there and it just drops right into place. That would make a very, very bad day. I think we're there. Or let me say, I hope we're there. I hope we didn't go too far in it. And when we install this, remember we're gonna do off at the very top. See, that's the fit you want to go for. You see, it's very tight. It doesn't want to come out there. That's the fit we're going for right there. That's what it looks like in place. It snaps into place. Now, there is some holes around it, and when there's no key in there, it'll be dark behind the dash, so you won't be able to see that, but that's what the key looks like. I think it fits good. It looks kind of flush in there, which I like that as well. But it's on and it's off. Now what I did, I went ahead and just stripped the wires back on these two here. I just put buck connectors just for anything down the road. We might use this right here switch for. And here we just took put two female spade connectors in there. I got two male uh, spade connectors I'm gonna put onto the golf cart harness itself so we can plug into here. And then if we ever have to take the dash back off again, we can just unplug it without having to cut wires, restripping and stuff like that. So I have my wires right here. And when you touch these two wires together, it turns the golf cart on. Okay, so these are the two wires that we're gonna use here on my application. When you're hooking them up and just pushing them together, right? I mean, you guys got the deal here. So once the golf cart dash is in place,
And once you have the dash in place, go ahead and test out the key switch. And let's see what we got here. I think we're in Ford now. There we go. This modification is now installed. All right, guys, so that pretty much wraps up today's video. Like, share, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. I know this isn't a very expensive modification, probably not an extravagant mod, probably not the coolest mod, right? I get that, but if you like to customize golf carts or if you like to customize anything, even the little small things need to be touched and customized as well. This is a very cheap modification. Anyone can do it. And like I said before, I didn't put this on the golf cart to be a security feature. However, it's not your standard golf cart key. So you could look at it as a security feature. Okay. But anyways, with that being said, guys, I appreciate you watching. And until next time, we'll see y'all later.